Um, where were you when you got the terrible news that Diana had been killed? Um, I was just at home. And it was uh, one of those moments where everything went on sort of pause and one of those sort of most surreal moments where, I don't know, I'm, I, didn't know the, I didn't know her, but I've almost like everybody felt connected to her in a sense. And it was sort of a little bit of a daze uh, in the fact that you thought somebody, well, somebody that was sort of so high profile, so untouchable, uh, so loving, had been, been taken from us. So it was a, yeah, it was a very bizarre, bizarre day. Uh, do, you know, do you think that uh, there was an overreaction among the public to her death at the time? Because the media quite, were quite critical of the outpouring of grief. No, I, th I, no, I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm, you know, people feel the way they do for whatever reason. They, 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 it's their feelings. They own those feelings. Um, I think she connected with the public. You mentioned an awful lot of it there. Um, I think she shows so much of a softer side to the royal family, to the public. And that's what Wills and Harry are doing exactly the same with now. I mean, the fact that people still go and lay, lay flowers for her 25 years after says an awful lot. Mm. So, no, I don't think the press got things right on that occasion, no. And Mark Foster, do you think that she set the template for the celebrity royal? Yes. Yeah, I do. I do. And I think Prince Harry and William have, have continued that, yeah. Emma Wolf, where were you when the news of Princess Diana being killed came through? I was at home in, in Camden Town. I was listening to Capital FM. I remember they were playing some pop song. Uh, it was early in the morning and um, they started sort of reporting bits about the, about the crash and um, then it sort of developed that she had actually died and I remember running and waking up my little sister and telling her and then a week or so later I remember going to the, maybe two weeks later, going to the Mall and watching the, the funeral cortege and just the whole of London being, well, the whole of the UK, seemingly, it felt like they were there. It was an amazing time, a really, really moving time. Mike Porky Parry, you are central to this story. Tell us why. Well, I released the news of Diana's death at 4.41 in the morning a.m. It was a Sunday morning. Uh, the news had started breaking just before midnight on Saturday about the crash in the tunnel in Paris, but there was no news about the fate of Diana. We knew Dodie fired had sadly perished in the car crash, but uh, Diana was at first said to just be badly injured with a broken collarbone and being treated in hospital. But I managed to get hold of Robin Cook, the Foreign Secretary, who was in Manila on a foreign tour, because I had a correspondent with him. And we found out he'd received a message from the French government to tell him that Diana, Princess of Wales, had died on French soil. That's the way diplomacy works. And at 4.41am, I put that um, news out in a news flash from the headquarters of the Press Association in Victoria, in London, where I was the executive editor. And, Mike, can you just tell us how important Diana was for Fleet Street, just in terms of newspaper circulation? What kind of difference yeah. did it make to sales if her face was on, on the front page? Well, it, I can tell you this, Mark. Diana is as big a sale on the front cover of a magazine today as she was 25 years ago on the day before she died. She's been the cover girl fantastique all her life while she was alive, and ever since, believe me, you know, if you put Diana's face on the cover of anything now, it just sells again. The fascination with her is still remarkable. She was the most famous woman in the world when she died. She was one of the most popular women in the world when she died. And she still is. And a lot of it is because now, these days, she is compared to her successors. She's compared to Kate and she's compared to Meghan. And she comes out favourably alongside Kate and favourably, very favourably, against the other side of royal princesses like Meghan.